So hey guys, this is Mias, and in this video we are going to solve the day nine recursion problem, recursion three problem that is present on the thirty days of code on Hacker Rank. Okay, so this is just a very 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 easy and simple problem, but my job is to give the explanation to all of you, so that's why I'm doing so. Okay, so before we are going to solve this problem, let me give the explanation about what is the recursion and what do you mean by the recursion. Okay. So recursion means we are, uh, if we have any function, let's say we have the factorial function here, then we are calling this function in its own body. Okay, so we are calling this factorial function here. So uh, it will take as a loop, but we need to uh, take the condition as well. So it will break down whenever the condition is true. Okay, so if we didn't get any condition here, then it will take as a uh, infinite loop and it will not. I stop anywhere else and you will uh, stuck in the problem okay so we need to complete the factorial function and what we need to do is we need to compute the factorial of any given input so let's say we have given the sample input as a 3 then we, we need to uh, uh, find out the factorial of the 3 so what is the factorial of the 3 means we need to first of all find out the factors of all this uh, number so let's say that uh, factors of 3 is 3 multiplied by 2 and multiply by the 1 okay so 3 multiplied by the 2 is equals to the 6 and 2 multiplied by the 1 is equals to the 2 and 1 is just the 1 so we are going to multiply 3 to 1 so this is equal to the 6 so that's why we have the input uh, well, that's why we have the output as a 6 number okay so what we need to do is we need to complete this factorial function in the in this problem so he, here if the value of the n is equal to the 1, let's say uh, we are taking factorial of uh, 3, okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the all the factors of this, okay. So factors of 3 is equal to the multiply by 2 multiply by 1, okay. So if the value of the n is equal to the 1, then it will return the 1, okay. There is no mean to say and this is the condition, this is and uh, that what is breaking the factorial, okay what is breaking the recursion part okay so in the else part what we have done here is that we are calling n is equals to the n means here we have given n is the 3 and multiply by factorial of n minus 1 so n minus 1 is equals to the 2 and it will go around here so it will take n that is the 3 and multiply by the 2 that is nothing but the factorial of of 3 minus 1 okay and then it will again come here and it will take for the n is not equal to the 1 then it will go here and it will take for again then it will take for the factorial 3 minus 1 multiply by the factorial uh, factorial 2 minus 1 and factorial 2 minus 1 is equal to the 1 so it will return to here okay so if the value of the n is equal to the 1 then it will return the 1 okay and the factorial 3 minus 1 return the 2 okay so what we here done here is that it will take the recursion part and it will calculate all these three things and store in the n variable okay and then it will return the n okay so it will return the 6 here okay so that's the thing we need to consider about this problem okay so now we are going to run the problem and that's it we are g getting the 3 as an input and we are taking the output as a 6 okay so that's it this is just a simple problem if you have any knowledge about the factorial part and what how to calculate the factorial and i hope you can have understanding of the recursion part as well before solving these problems like this okay so if you don't have then please take about the basic knowledge about any programming language that you are uh, uh, writing code in these problems okay so that's it this is just a simple problem i hope you can understand the problem as well as well as the explanation so i will meet you with very soon with another problem and another explanation as well okay so bye bye and if you are new here then please subscribe to the channel because I will be uploading more videos on data structure and algorithms as well. So that's it for this video and bye bye and see you again.